my god all right y'all we're out here on mathis lake i got my buddy Riker with me let's see if we can catch some of these bass there's no wind today it's not supposed to be that hot and uh he already missed a two pounder so didn't have to go for a run in obviously so we're gonna fish about and see what we can do and hopefully we can get some good footage for you guys and uh we'll see y'all in a minute you're moving the tree. first catch of the day was that about a five pound about ten about ten pound tree fish oh yeah the elusive mesquite fish <laughs> oh yeah it's a big one you don't have to pay a lot of money to mount those on the wall either oh you should stick them up there <laughs> Get you a sheetrock molly, get the goat. That's right. Dude. <laughs> Looks like he caught half an elk. Barely hooked. Dude. Looks like half an elk antler. You got him. He got a worm in his mouth? <laughs> nah, he's empty. Oh, I did not have enough slack. I almost missed that hook set. That's why you got him. Shit, bring him over here. Look at him. This bait stew. Oh, All seven inches of him? Well, that's 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 why we couldn't get him to bite the big baits. <laughs> He's tiny. Nice. Well, that's one in the boat. I need to cut this hook and change it out anyway because it's bent. There you go. Mm -hmm. there Is that the same fish? No. Be close. <laughs> Look at this one I'm on right here. Man, that thing weighs about 30 pounds. Not my fish, the rock you're on. <laughs> what kind of knots do you use? I use a polymer knot most of the time. The one where you go back through and you have the loop, you tie it overhand and flip it through. You put your uh, hook through a loop? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I use. You like an overhand knot and then you drop it through? And... Yeah, 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 that's exactly what I use. Like it doesn't drop off too sharp right in here. Oh, I saw it. Got hey, look there. I had slack. I, kept, I was feeling for my weight. There was no weight. Like he hit it and came towards the boat or something? Yeah, he was swimming right at the boat. I couldn't feel him, and so I just pulled up on it just to make sure. Yeah, nice. Good instinct. Well, we got three fish that equal one piece of Oh, we got like a pound of fish in the boat. Hell yeah. I'm going to wear the boat. Fast master class. Let me tell you about it. <laughs> Tell me I had that recording. I don't think I did. That was such the light. How fat that toad is. You see something scary? Barely. Barely. But look how fat that is. He's as big as the last one. That was what, two minutes ago? A minute maybe? A minute maybe. I'll tell you what, I slowed my retrieve way down. That's two fish in a row when I changed my retrieve speed. Like super slow? Yeah, I just dragged it, dragged it like a jig.
What's up y'all? I felt like I had to shoot a little follow up to that video that you just watched. You'll hear me reference in there at some point during the video I say, hey, that's 24. We actually tore them up today. We caught 25 fish. I caught 15, he caught 10. Our average fish, even counting the little ones that you see in the beginning of the video, was about two pounds. Somehow, some way, I had some footage. My camera got switched to burst. Um, I could have cut those sequences together but I just think it didn't add any value to the video at all. Um, there was some, I thought there was some footage. We, we actually lost a six, about six and a half pounder right at the boat. Um, not for sure, but guesstimating it was like about six and a half. I hooked it, um, got it right to the boat's edge and she made a little run and then spit the hook and the hook actually hit me in the chest. Um, I thought it was hilarious. He was beside himself. Yeah, we caught, we did very well. I was, I was pretty upset when I got home that I missed some of the footage that I thought I shot. So, uh, Mathis was great today. We had a really good time. And like I said, we caught, it boated 25 fish. We probably lost uh, probably a dozen, but all in all, we had a great day. Tomorrow we're heading out to the salt water. I'm gonna have Riker with me again. Um, I'm gonna have my nephew, Brendan, and Bailey's back. Bailey's gonna go with us tomorrow. We're gonna do some some speckled trout fishing, maybe try to get some uh, some reds in the in the boat. So um, I will make sure my GoPro is operational and functioning as it should. So I want to apologize for that. I, I really did have a lot of good footage, I thought. Um, I was really looking forward to this video and it just kind of didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. But anyway, I really appreciate it. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already. Um, man, I really thought this video was going to be off the chain. But there's always tomorrow, so... Thanks again. I appreciate it. Bye.